Hi there, I'm Ian Go. I'm a lecturer in Classics at Swansea University. This is the sixth video, I think, in a series called The Food of Roman Verse. And it's going to be a little bit different from the ones so far. I'm here for now with the remnants of a once proud wild sea bass. And today's extract will focus on sea bass as it appears in a poem by Gaius Lusalius, the first Roman satirist. In the second half of the second century BC, an important man named Publius Cornelius Lentulus Lupus was put on trial for corruption. Lusalius, the poet, stirs the pot by putting on record a version of this trial in heaven. He mocks Lupus by making him defend himself in a council of the gods, portrayed as if the gods are Roman senators. You may be wondering, what does this have to do with food? Well, the target's name is Lupus. In Latin, that does mean wolf, but it also means sea bass, hence the fish. No rice cakes, though. One of my aims here is to show you that a wild sea bass is more than the petite farmed fillets you get in the packs at the supermarket. It's a rapacious, aggressive fish, which you're seeing me here, gutting and then filleting. Lucilius, in trash-talking lupus, wrote the line, They kill you, lupus, the sources of the shabar fish and nile perch. To understand this, you need to know two things. First, what Lucilius is describing is a sea bass being overwhelmed by a sauce containing cheaper fish. Secondly, the word for sauce in Latin is ius, which also means law. Law and sauce the same. The word gives us our English words justice and jurisprudence. It's a pun and a cutting one because lupus in this recipe is already dead. I've represented this here in a dish you're about to see being made with a preparation based on what modern Italians call aqua pazza or crazy water. First, I'm deep frying sardine fillets that I put in egg wash and flour so they hold their shape. Then the sea bass is poached in wine with tomatoes and herbs. Don't forget, Lucilius and Lupus didn't have tomatoes and I've added cream, fennel, dill and leeks too. But here my cheaper fried sardines and mussels cover the sea bass, just as happened to lupus. This is the result. Thanks to Swansea Fish for coming up with the goods for me again, and thanks for watching.